AI is just getting out of hand. It's just getting better and better. I mean, this is crazy. Have a look at this picture that I've made earlier. This person. Well, it's so realistic that it makes me, you know, I don't know what to think about this one. First of all, have a look at these fingers. Let me show it to you like this. Have a look at the fingers. And also, the fingers here. Also, the text behind this person. It's just getting better and better. And the best part are these videos. Have a look at this. You can take any picture and make the video out of it, which looks so realistic. Have a look at it one more time. So uh, there's a, a, not a lot of things morphing, you know? It was always the problem with these video makers, you know? Something has to morph into something. It's like the hands or, you know, the hands or the face or whatever. But this is another thing. It's called Flux. And this was the first one that I found. It is over at Black Forest Labs. But this is like, let's say, Vanilla Flux. I'll leave a link like this. And if I remember, I'll put it out of the description as well. So it is over at Hugging Face Co. Spaces Black Forest Labs, blah, blah, blah. It is the vanilla one. And the second link here is for the prompt generator and I'll show it to you later on. But this one is also good. Let me just go with these examples down there. So a cat holding a sign that says, hello world. Now, what I really like about this is that it can write text. Before, if you use like Midjourney or something else, you know, it, it couldn't write words, you know, it just writes some gibberish or something like that. But this can write the words. And I just wanna show you one little trick here that I use always when it comes to G's like image generations, shot by Sony Alpha A7 III camera. I like to use this one and let me just show you the difference. I'll copy this and run it through the vanilla one. Now you can pause the video and see the image before. It is the same prompt, a cat holding a sign that says hello world. But now I've added shot by this camera and have a look at it. It's just perfect, right? But let's now visit this link here. It's the prompt generator that I was telling you about. And this solves you whatever problem you might have with prompts, right? Because you can be natural. For example, the custom input prompt, it is optional. You don't have to do it. The subject is optional as well. But let's make a woman, right? And I'll select female here. And here, I will select something like woman on a stage, right? Let's just do it like that. Then down there, you've got this art form and photo type. You've got art form and photo type. Both of these are disabled by default. And then first of all, you choose the angle, right? So for example, I'll just use front view. And for the art form, you can select art, photography, and random. I'll select photography because I want realistic image. Now let's close this one, go to character details, body types, default tags, roles, hairstyles, clothing, you've got everything. So just play with it, right? For example, I just go white top sleeveless with this one. Rose, you see, you can use Greek God, you can use teacher, you can use bodybuilder, carpenter, farmer, whatever. So let's just go with a teacher. So it's gonna be a teacher on a stage. Let's just go with something like that. Body types, let's just go with midweight. I'll just go with that. I'll close this one and then scene details. You've got places, you've got lightings, compositions, poses, and backgrounds. Let's go with the place first. I'll go with indoor because I want it to be on stage. The lighting here, let's just go with sensual lighting. All of the others can stay as default. Now, this one is interesting. Style and artists. You know, there's photography styles. And you can choose, for example, portrait. In here, you can rely on some artists. There's a lot of famous artists on this list. And you can use these as an example. I suggest that you Google one of these and see their styles. And then you can just decide to use them or not. I'll leave that on disabled. And here you just generate the prompt. So you just click on it and then you get the mid prompt, right? And after that, you just have to click on generate prompt with LLM and take a look at this really well structured, very detailed prompt. And I'll just take it. I'll just copy it. And this time I will use flux realism, Laura. I will give you a link for that as well. But now let me just go and paste this prompt that I've got with that generator and I'll just leave shot by Sony Alpha A7 III camera click on run and then we will just have to wait a bit by the way 
for this Flux Realism, which uses LoRa Realism, this is the link, all right? This LoRa, uh, well, this just means that this one has been trained with LoRa on multiple realistic pictures, and that's why it looks like this. So, I've got my character, and it's really good when it comes to lighting, and it's really good when it comes to realism, but I don't like that I wanted her on a stage. So let's just change this, like, public stage with sensual lighting. Let's just go with something that doesn't go with one another, and let's just use this one again. There we have it. Now we have her on a stage, right? And it's pretty, pretty realistic. Now, down there, as you can see, you've got more of these additional settings, which I don't use that much, except if I want an entirely different aspect ratio, right? So you can choose these. And also, the guidance scale is one that you should know about, and the more you go to the right, it's more gonna follow your prompt. But on the left, well, it's just gonna give it more freedom, right? So let's just go with 2.5 or even 2, so I can just show you the result. So as you can see, the stage has been, you know, it disappeared. But if I go to, let's just say, 9 or even 10 and a half, it's gonna be like this, right? So just don't go too much, right? Now let's go to making videos. And in order to make videos, I like to use Clink AI. Clink AI can make pictures as well. Even though they're not so good as Flux is, they don't use the Flux model, but they've got AI videos. And with this, you put the image prompt. In this case, I just used the picture that we have made earlier. I uploaded it, and then you need a prompt. For this one, you need a simple prompt. Now, this is not a free tool as well. You got some credits for free, which are gonna be recreated in a month, but it's still not enough to make money with it. But what I wanted to say with this one is that you need a subject, and then you need a movement. And with this one, the camera is static. If you remember Runway, if you've ever used this one before, it uses the camera movement a lot. But this one doesn't use camera movement. You can use it, but it's better if you don't use it. The best thing that you can do for yourself to get consistent things and to get some really good results is to read this guide. And down there in the image to video thing, let me just go there, you can see that prompt equals to subject plus movement or the background plus movement. So the subject is the main focus in the video. In that case, it was the man. And then the movement is, well, not a lot of movement. The man is holding his mic and he's just talking to the people there, right? Down there, you can see some of these examples. This one you've already seen, and yeah, they just put a picture of Mona Lisa there, and they've got this result. No morphing, and the fingers are good, the face is good, everything is good. Just take a look at this one. They uploaded this image. So it's friends thing, right? So it's just friends. Let me just exit this and have a look at this video. I mean, I don't like the eyes here with Joey, but still, it's a good thing. He is really good. Just have a look at this eye, like really, really realistic. And you can find more examples on this guide. How can you make money with this? Well, you can go to Fiverr and there's a lot of people in need for their ads. Now, on the other hand, my honest suggestion is that you go with your local area because there's a lot of people out there, especially in the food industry. Just take a look at this one that need these eye-catching things for their restaurants, for their coffee shops, or whatever they have. These tools will just get better and better. And I honestly suggest that you take advantage of this one. Start playing with these prompts, and you will get better as a result. Because this is just the beginning. It'll get better, people will find more uses for it, and, well, the sooner you get ready for it, well, the sooner you can just start making cash with this one. You can't quit your job. This is still a side hustle. But yeah, just get yourself ready. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.